Your reaction to uh, uh, Powell renomination, it does look like we're still headed for a world of mod moderately higher rates, but still a lot of liquidity in the system. Yeah, look, I, from my perspective, this is sort of the dream team. Uh, Chair Powell clearly uh, is a force for stability and good sense in monetary policy. Leo Brainerd, someone I've known for over 30 years, extremely talented person. I think together you're going to see uh, an even, even better alliance and, and combination. I, again, just think uh, the combination is very powerful. With regard to the implications, we clearly have a raging debate about uh, inflation that is going to be front and center for bo both Powell and Brainerd going forward. Uh, and that's going to consume a lot of the debate in early 2022. Peter, where do you stand? Do you think we need to do more, more quickly? Do you think inflation is going to fade? The president's taking to talk about Build Back Better being sort of disinflationary. What stimulus do you think, if any, the US economy needs right now? Well, I think we're at a moment where I personally would be in watchful waiting mode. There's, uh, there are uh, people I respect that think we should be moving more aggressively towards uh, Fed tightening. I just think we're at such an unusual moment in the inflationary process, and there is uh, some indication, at least, that some of the supply chain uh, dynamic that has been a big contributor to inflation, not only in the United States, but in the UK and in continental Europe, that some of that may be at least stabilizing, possibly by early next year improving. And I think it would be worth waiting to see. I understand the counter argument, um, and again, uh, respect the people who uh, are putting it forward. But from my own perspective, I'd like to see how this very unusual uh, period of time plays out before reaching uh, conclusions that we need to go hard towards uh, monetary policy tightening.